880, right, how to set up for him to cross. 880 is beams, oats 1200. Compromise go a little bit higher, it's probably 950. Because beans are the main crop. So it's 950. And then concave beans 25, oats 14. So we've got to keep the concave at 25. Any lower we'll start splitting them. So we'll go. Yeah, next up fan. Beans want 900 to max, but oats want 600. We'll have to have it at 600 or we'll be flying them all out the back. Uh, upper sieves, we've got 18 and 11. I have to go for the beans, so 18. Yeah, upper, upper sieve 18. And then the lower sieve will have to go to the oats, which is 6. So that means anything between 6 and 18 is going to let in the tank. Um, and then we got the moon plates on out the back with the spiky things on. We might have to see if they split any beans before we put the smooths in. Should be good to go. Crack beans. No, earwig. Some really small beans, look at that. No, we're not an amateur. Can't find many losses on the floor, which is what we we're worried about with the beans. Because when it's dry, they can fling out. What we're just going to do is we're just going to take the headlands off tonight and then we'll get the rest of it tomorrow morning, I think. Because it'll be greener on the headlands, we can set this on the floor and hopefully leave it drying overnight if there's any green stuff still left in it. Just all the headland taken off. Hopefully get this on the floor because it'll be the greener stuff and then crack on with the rest of it tomorrow. Just wanted to say if you don't have a clue what's going on in these trials or don't understand have a look at some of the previous videos on my channel um, and it'll explain but all basically intercropping no input see what happens. These are the beans and oats, just spread out now. They're quite warm, obviously, it's been such a hot day today, but we'll spread them out again tomorrow morning after they've had some coolness overnight, um, and then check the rest of them on top, hopefully. Should be all good. Good morning, Friday the 8th. It is now time to harvest the second field of the intercropping trials. So last night we made a start on the headland um, in the beans and oats and got them off, got them laid out in a shed so that they had a night just to cool because there'd be more green stuff on the headlands obviously um so now we've just got a little bit left it won't even be half a trailer or so just to finish now um and then we got the four plots sorry the three remaining plots so that'll be vetch and oats beans and oilseed drape and beans oilseed drape and oats i'm just trying to find so we've got the beans oats and oilseed drape right next to the beans and oats and it's tough to see right where they are but if you can just see behind me i can't zoom in on the front camera there is a line just there where you can just see a difference in thistles i'll just turn around now so there's that line all the way down just see it's so on the right is the beans oats and obviously rape which seems to have more thistles in and then on the left just beans and oats um similar story as expected whatever oilseed rape is in there some of it's flowering but there's some there still in pods. Bit of a pain. You just see an oilseed rope flower down. 
there. There it is. Bit annoying. It's the same story in the beans and oats, dark bit. You can see lots of thistles, lots of beans, but barely any oxid rate. Um, but yeah, we'll crack on. I'll just show some combine in a second. Just thought I'd show the beans and oxy drape a little bit more in detail. I mean, the beans are well ripe, but that oil seed rape, I mean, it started flowering again about two or three weeks ago. It's been a right pain from start to finish. Um, but there it is. Interestingly, I've got a little bit of this leftover oil, spring oil seed rape in my cover crops and currently looks brilliant and completely untouched by flea beetle. Um, but as you can see, there is plenty of thistles in this and green oil seed rape. So it's going to be a bit of a pain to dry. Hopefully we can get some oil seed rape out of it. But from the drone footage, you can see that the spring oats down this side, which had the, a lot of vetch in it, is going a little bit flat. So it'll be interesting to see what that yields. So having a little bit of trouble trying to find where the 24 meter mark is, but I'm going to be the the mark and I'm just going to keep going up this drill work. See all see drape on my left there, nothing on my right. And found the gap between the two outside coulters from the drill. So just going to walk through here, get my legs chewed up to nothingness while the drill traces me. And get a little bit to the left. First has been fun running up the entire length of the field as a oh, bloody marker. Oh, just about managed it. Semi straight line the whole way up. Legs cut to cut to pieces. But all fun. It's annoying with this oil she drape because we're gonna have to close put the lower sieve all the way down to two or three mil. Whereas the beans are going to be on the upper sieve at 25 mil. So that means everything from 2 or 3 to 25 mil is going to enter the combine tank. So it's going to be a horrendous sample. And we're probably not going to get much oil seed rape anyway. But you never know. There might be some mature pods. Um, it's going to be quite a lot of green material in there. beans and oats all in the shed. Looks a slightly worse sample this morning, probably just got sort of run into the outside, but definitely not as hot as it was yesterday, which is good. The stuff from yesterday's dried out, dried out well, definitely cooled down, but we'll have to be moved just to get some air into it. So the beans oil is great. Horrible sample as we get. Whether there's any oil seed rape in it or not, I don't know, but this is staying in the trailer and I think it's going to get quite warm.
into the oats and vetch now. Not a lot of vetch, but just thought I'd show this. Where there's a lot, of, we saw the same in the other field. Where there's a lot of cereals, it's barely any weeds. And then on the headland, where there's a little bit of cereals. I mean, there's still some, but there's not a lot. Kind of medium amount of weeds. And then where there's no cereals, like with the um, beans and obviously drape, there's loads of weeds. So it seems like the cereals are definitely pretty good at weed suppression, but also competition with the other crops. And that is harvest finished in the intercropping trials, as well as harvest finished for 2023. And I parked the trailer wrong. <laughs>